Hello guys, welcome back to the series of tutorials on C++. I am Deepak Kunyal and in this tutorial I am going to talk about abstract classes and pure virtual functions. So let's start the discussion. So whenever we have a class, we generally assume that we are going to instantiate it and will create object out of this class. But this is not always the case. Sometimes there are classes for which we never intend to instantiate any object or in other terms we can say that there are some functions in a class for which there is no implementation right and why there is no implementation for some functions because we don't know how these function will be implemented and such kind of classes which have these kind of functions without implementation these are called abstract classes right so as we said that there are some classes with no implementation of some functions and these classes are called abstract classes so basically we are talking about base classes that are having some function with no implementation so such kind of classes are called incomplete classes right and derived classes must fill those pieces or derived classes must define the missing pieces before objects of these classes can be instantiated. So let's take some examples. Suppose we have a shape class and this example we are taking since the beginning. So if someone asks you to draw a shape, what kind of shape you are going to draw? Can you draw some kind of shape? This is example one. Just think about it. Till then I am providing you another example. Suppose you have a class animal and there is a function move. So can you implement this function? Do you know how move will work? I don't think you know this, right? Because when we are talking about animal, we don't know how it is going to move until and unless it's a specific animal or it's a specific kind of species, right? So till then we are not sure about it. Similarly, we are not sure about the draw function implementation. But there are some classes that can be instantiated and objects of those classes can be created. And such kind of classes are called concrete classes. So if you remember our discussion from previous lecture, we have discussed this thing a bit. So let's move these examples further and discuss it more. So suppose we have a shape class and you are deriving two classes from here one is 2d shape and another side we have 3d shape right and we have more classes here which you are deriving from 2d shape and those classes are square circle triangle and rectangle right similarly if you talk about 3d shape we have many classes there but i am taking three examples here cube, spare and cylinder. So if you have a draw function here, you are not sure what this draw is going to do. Similarly, if this draw is here in 2D shape, we are still not sure what shape we should draw. And similarly, here in 3D shape, right? So we have to leave these functions without any implementation, right? But when we have draw function, here in these classes or in these three classes this draw function can be easily implemented right because now we know the shape so in this case these classes shape class 2d shape and 3d shape all these three classes are abstract classes and these four classes and these three classes which are having implementation of this function which is only function in above classes at this moment so these classes are called concrete classes right so what is concrete class by definition so concrete classes are those which offer implementation for all the functions of a class clear so when we are talking about abstract classes these classes are too generic so sometimes it's difficult to find out 
what should be the implementation and when we are talking about concrete classes these classes are more specific clear so the answer to this is when we are trying to draw a shape it's not possible because we are not sure which shape we should draw and that's why it's a abstract class similarly we don't know how the animal is going to move this is also an abstract class in case you want to extend this animal further you can make derived classes out of it you can make like cat dog or maybe horse these could be some animals and here if you have this function move function you can implement it here in these three classes right I will remove these brackets from here because these are classes clear so now come towards implementation part which is most important so how we are going to make a class abstract so the answer to this is very simple what you have to do make one or more of its virtual function to be pure and how we are going to make a function as pure virtual function so let's suppose you are making a draw function and draw function is virtual in base class so you can declare this function like this or you can make a prototype of this function like this virtual void draw and it's your choice if you want to put cost here and whenever you are making prototype of function like this you have to put equal to 0 at the end so this equal to 0 here is specifier of pure so what it means this virtual function will have no implementation so in this case concrete class must override all base class pure virtual function with concrete implementation of those function so now you can ask me one question then what is the difference between virtual function and pure virtual function so let's get into depth of that and understand it so one we have a virtual function and another pure virtual function so when we are talking about virtual function it has some implementation but in case of pure virtual function it has no implementation the second difference is that in case of virtual function it gives an option to the user of overriding that function in derived class but in case of pure virtual function derived class must override and provide implementation so there could be one more question what would happen if there is no implementation provided so if there is no implementation provided in the derived class this class will also become an abstract class right so if someone else want to derive this class that class need to provide an implementation even if that class don't provide an implementation and that's the last class in the hierarchy it will give you a compiled error clear what will happen if we try to create an object of such kind of classes or we try to create an object of abstract class so even in this case it's going to give us compilation error right so let's take some examples and understand this in more detail so first example is how should we implement pure virtual function in a class so let us suppose you have a base class and this base class has some private variable int x and then you have some public methods and first method is a pure virtual function so we have to put equal to 0 here because we want to make it pure virtual function then there is another function int get x and this function has just one task that it is going to return x variable now do one thing in derived class we are going to inherit this base class using public mode now create one variable int y and we have a public function which is void fun and we are going to print something here just write function and this is it and we have successfully implemented this class now get inside driver program int main create an object of derived class and then call function fun using this derived class so we have already implemented virtual function in our previous classes but now you can see we are just making this function as pure virtual function and we are calling it from here so one thing you should remember that 
this function should always have implementation in the derived class right so at this moment this program is going to work perfectly fine right because we are making object of this class which has all the implementations available clear let us suppose you just try to create object of this class base class so let's try to do it here suppose we are trying to do base b so you can try doing that and when you write this statement it will give you a compiler error because you are trying to instantiate a class which is abstract class and the class which is derived from this is concrete class clear so you can make object of this class but you cannot make object of this class so I'm just commenting it out here but you can run in your compiler and see the effect right so let's take another example to understand what else we could do with these things so you can have pointers and references of abstract class types so again take same example suppose you have a base class which is abstract and it had some function which is so so I will write it like this virtual void so so that it's easier for you to implement this function and then we have a derived class and derived class is being inherited from base class in public mode so this is first class this is second class and it's implementing this function so so when we have created a driver function main you can use base class to create a base pointer and assign it an object of derived class and then you can use base pointer to call the so function which is going to call this one right because we are declaring it as virtual and here it will show the polymorphic behavior right and we have discussed this already so all these things are going to work fine as we have been looking at them now let's look at another example to understand working of pure virtual function so abstract classes although you cannot make object out of them but these classes can have constructors so you can think few seconds and then write your answer in the comments why these abstract classes can have constructors when we cannot create object of them so reason for that is simple suppose we have a base class and this base class is having some variable i and have some functions like fun and this function is pure virtual function and we have some other classes like derived class and this derived class is inheriting itself from the base class and then it has some other data members and those data members are maybe j only because we have i from here so we have i and j and then there is a function fun which is being inherited from here and this function is just going to print the value of i and j right so when we create a driver program and create object of derived we can pass some value to these i and j or we want to assign i4 and assign 5 to the j then we can create an object like this right so it means we are going to call constructor of derived and this will accept two values suppose first value is int x and another value is int y so how this derived class is going to assign values to this j and i so what it is going to do it's going to call constructor of base class and it will pass x to this right so that i is assigned x you already know how we can assign x to this i right and then inside this constructor it is going to assign y to this j so that's how this derived class will have i equal to 4 and j equal to 5 so that's why we need constructor for these classes right so i hope you got an idea let's take one more example this is fourth example suppose we have a class base and we have a virtual function here so we are going to write virtual void fun equal to 0 it means it's a 
pure virtual function make it public and now this base class is over only we have this function here we have this derived class here which is being inherited from the base class and here now the derived class ends so we have only this much code in the base class and derived class so can you think a bit and tell me whether this code is going to work or not you can see that we have a pure virtual function here but we don't have any such function in this class and we know that when we have a abstract class it means we have an incomplete class and those incomplete pieces should be completed in the concrete classes but in this case we are not seeing such thing right so this means that this code is not going to work and it will provide an error right so what you can do you can write such kind of program run this and tell me the error that you are getting in comment sections now coming to the last part of this lecture let's talk about abstract function and classes in java so if you want to create a class which is abstract in java you have to use keyword abstract similarly if you want to create abstract functions or pure virtual function again you have to use the keyword abstract so whether you want to make a class abstract or function abstract you can use the same keyword right so there is one more thing which is called interface so what is difference between interface and abstract class so basically in interface we have no implementations right so no implementations means we have no implementation for any method even if a interface has three methods all the methods will have no implementation if you want to do it in c++ we can achieve this thing using pure virtual functions so what we have to do we have to make all the functions as pure virtual function in c++ clear and what is abstract class it can have one or more abstract functions so if some class has all the functions as abstract it means now it is called interface right so in c++ if you want to make interface you have to make all the function as pure virtual functions and in java we have a separate keyword for that which is called interface clear so i hope you got an idea about the virtual functions pure virtual functions abstract classes and interface and the final discussion about java and c++ differences so this lecture is a bit lengthy now but i hope you are clear with all the concepts if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these things you can write your queries in the comments and i will try to respond back as soon as possible so guys if you like my video please like it share it to your friends and subscribe the channel see you in the next video with some new concept till then thank you so much